welcome to Wholesome Roots. We are ready for another day of gardening. It is Naked Gardening Day today, national holiday and all. I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. But I might take my shoes off and let my feet enjoy the soil and earthing. This is as close as we get to naked on Naked Gardening Day. Ryan took his shoes off and his shirt off and he's getting it done. And I took my shoes off too. Oh, I love how the nice organic soil feels in between my toes. It's better than beach sand, y'all. So, between yesterday and today, I've got all this row finished planted with tomatoes. And then down the center in between the tomatoes, I put cabbage so that as the tomatoes grow, it'll shade out the cabbage and make the cabbage grow nice because it doesn't like the hot sun. And then here in this bed, I've begun planting my tomatoes and I was just gonna show you just a brief introductory about how to plant tomatoes. First off is, I wanted to show you how well rooted they are. Remember I transplanted these, whoa, somebody's having fun shooting today, not that long ago into these pots and they have completely rooted out. And uh, I try not to disturb the roots that much. One handed is a little different when I'm holding the camera in the other. So I'm going to plant these. I've already got the tag for this variety. I've done a hole with my dibble, but because these are tomatoes, I wanna open that hole up even more and take my tomato plant all the way to the bottom of the hole and bury all the way up the stem. Tomato plants should be planted as deep as you can get them into the ground that your soil allows you. Not everybody has deep beds, so sometimes you have a very shallow topsoil. But here was an example of a very nicely rooted plug. And this is what you want to see. You want to see your roots just coming out to the edge, but not overcrowding. If it was solid white with all roots running through it, it would be a little bit on the later end of when I should have transplanted. So we are transplanting at just the right time. I dig my hole deep. I bury it as deep as I can, all the way up to the top leaves. If these transplants were bigger, from a bigger plant. I would, this one actually could be even deeper. So I could have pinched off the lower leaves and planted all the way up to here or even here. As long as you have your growing tip above the ground, they'll do just fine. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna put out roots all along the stem. So you see this one here. The stem has a lot of hairs on it but if you look especially down here at the base you'll see where there's going to be little bumps that are going to turn into roots so always plant your tomatoes deep the best thing you can do for a plant is give it a good healthy root system so the more roots that you leave for the plant intact the better it's going to develop and grow. That's it. I am planting my tomatoes about a foot apart, but that's because I have a lot of organic matter and compost and manure in here. If I did not have that good of a soil, I'd be planting these tomato plants much further apart. The important thing that you have to remember is as these tomato plants grow, I'm going to have to trim out the lower leaves as they grow up taller and taller, I'm gonna to wanna to trim out the lower leaves all the way up to at least a foot high. And I'm going to do that so that the splash up from watering or rain doesn't hit the lower leaves and cause blight. There is blight in every soil, no matter where you live, especially here in the south, there's going to be blight in your soil. All right, y'all, I think that's about all I can handle. The boys went in with daddy a little while ago to get something to eat, and I'm starting to get kind of lightheaded and dizzy. I should probably go in and eat something and drink some water. But I got 
all those cabbages, the regular green cabbage, and then I got all the red cabbage, and then I started planting broccoli with tiny spinach in between. So you see I'm planting everything thick and heavy. That is um, kind of a way of companion planting as well as permaculture, as well as intensive gardening, square foot gardening, no matter what name you give it. Um, as long as you have good organic rich soil and you can fertilize and you can keep it aerated enough in between the plants so that they don't get fungus or blight or anything like that from being too close together and not having good enough airflow. But with the way I did it, with the different sized plants planted together, it's going to help with the perfect airflow. And it's if you think about it like, um, remember in grade school when they taught you about the forest and how the forest had the canopy layer and it had the um, ground floor layer and the layer in between. This is the same concept um, that I'm using for my garden to layer things. Having taller plants planted with smaller plants under it is gonna give me not only more plants that I can fit into that one garden space, but it's gonna give me higher yields because some of those smaller plants I'm planting under the bigger plants need the shade and they need that extra protection from the heavy sun. So this is working really well for me. It's something I've been doing for years and years. Uh, I don't even know how many years. But <laughs> I've always planted stuff under my tomatoes because it's a great place to plant stuff like lettuce. I've done radish. Um, so this just, the possibilities are endless. Use your imagination and don't be afraid to experiment. Um, sometimes they don't work and sometimes they do and you get great results. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.